Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming the end of the year book tag. I don't know the specific person that started this, but I will link the video in the description box if you want to check that out. I'm obviously not the creator of this tag. I know it's a little late. It's like December 5th when I'm filming this and a lot of people posted theirs at the end of October and throughout November, but I had no time to film it and we're just getting it now. We're getting it now. I feel like it still applies. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Kendra. I post book videos, sometimes beauty videos, travel vlogs, reading vlogs, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see those videos, then definitely hit the subscribe button and also check me out on my social medias. It is at Kendra Cuss on both Twitter and Instagram. And then I just started a bookstagram that's Kendra Cuss Reads. So if you want to see those things, then definitely hit them up. If you want to see what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, then that is the place to do it. All right, guys, let's just get right on into this video. So the first question is, are there any books you started this year? Why can't I talk? Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? So, um, yes and no. If I would have filmed this two weeks ago like I was wanting to, it would have been Tender as the Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald, but I actually just finished that about like six days ago. So that is not something I need to finish. But a book that I am currently reading, I guess I can use, and it is Crown of Feathers by, what is the author? Nikki Palpretto. Um, I am really liking this, but not nearly as much as I expected to, and I don't know why I had expectations on it. It's not bad. I've been reading it for the last six, seven days, and usually, like, like hopefully a book would take me less than that. A book that I'm really liking would take me way less than that. So I'm liking it. I enjoy it. I think it's decent, but it's just not, like, exactly how I, like, I, for some reason, thought I was going to love this, and it's just not you know, anyways, I like it. I don't want it to seem bad. I have like 150 pages left or something like that. Um, it's a kind of a big book. It's like 450. I'm at like 300 about now. So I'll finish it like tomorrow or something, not super far out from here. And yeah, that is the book I need to finish, I guess. One of the reasons I really started reading it now, I already wanted to read it the whole year, but one of the reasons I started it now is because I actually have an e-arc of the second book. So I'm probably gonna read that right after that anyways. The next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? No, absolutely not. I don't think about those things. <laughs> I like seasonal feeling books, but honestly, I just read fantasy all year long because that's my favorite genre. That's kind of the only genre I care about other than like some classics. So I don't really have like, ooh, this feels so autumnal, I'm gonna read this now. And also it's like, we're like 15 days out from winter, so like that's just not gonna cut it anymore. But I will change this into a wintry, um, like question and i actually just bought books from book outlet um on Bla their black friday sale and i ended up getting winter spell by claire legrand which is a nutcracker retelling and i really 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 want to read that before christmas hi just popping in to say that i actually ended up reading the book called enchanted sonata rather than winter spell i still might read winter spell but winter spell had some pretty mixed reviews so did enchanted sonata when it came down to it but it had better reviews than winter spell so they're both nutcracker retellings just thought I'd tell you before I gave my whole spiel about Winter Spell. Hindsight's 2020, you know? I adore the Nutcracker story. Like in any way it's told, it's one of my favorite things. I actually really, really, really loved the Nutcracker and the Four Realms that came out last year. Um, and shout out to Barbie and the Nutcrackers. I've been watching that ever since I was a little girl and that's what sparked my love in the Nutcracker story was Barbie and the Nutcracker. If you haven't watched that, go freaking watch it. So yeah, Winter Spell will probably be my, my like wintry book. I also really wanted to read the Afterlife of Holly Chase, which is a Christmas movie because it's like Scrooge kind of thing. So hopefully I can read both of those books before Christmas time, before the end of the year and get all my Christmas feels in. You know what I mean? So that's the way I'm going to answer this question. The next question is, is there a new release you're still waiting on? And if I had filmed this when I meant to film this, I would have said Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. But at this point, we only have about three and a half weeks left of the year. And I truly don't have a book that I'm waiting on at this point. Like I was waiting on The Starless Sea, which I don't even think I'm gonna get to for a couple of months. And then Queen of Nothing, which I already read and adored. And that was really the only books that I can think of. I have a lot a lot of anticipated reads for next year, but but for this year, no. It's kind of, this is kind of a sad book tag. I feel like I'm kind of failing at this. 
and that's because I did this way too late. What are the three books you want to read before the end of the year? Well, I kind of mentioned some of them, but I will go over my TBR for December, which I don't really do TBRs anymore, but I do them in my notes to keep track of what I've read and also to just like inspire me to pick up this book because it's something I've been wanting to read for a while. I want to finish Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Oh my gosh, that could have been the answer to the first question. Duh. Um, I want to finish Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. It's a reread, but I'm reading the um, illustrated edition. And when I reread Harry Potter books, I take them really slow because I just want to like soak in everything and especially the illustrated edition. First of all, Goblet of Fire is a freaking heifer of a book and the illustrations in it are so pretty. And I'm just, you know, I'm giving it time, taking it slow. So Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Winter Spell, which is one I already mentioned, and The Afterlife of Holly Chase, which is one I already mentioned, they're Christmassy books. If those don't count, then I will say Heart of Flames, which is the sequel to Crown of Feathers, which is, like I said, is the one I'm reading currently. And then I really wanted to read Angel Mage. I got it in a Lit Joy crate a month or two months ago, and it seems really, really intriguing, but it is kind of a big book, so I'm worried I won't get to it or finish it. A really small book that's kind of like a novella is Diamond as Big as the Ritz by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and that's one I was hoping to read before the end of the year. So I know I'm kind of like cheating on all these questions and answering them in really weird ways, but that, that's the truth. That's, that's the truth of the matter, are those books. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think anything could top the way I felt about the Six of Crows series, um, like Crooked Kingdom. I don't think anything could top that. I don't think anything could top the way I felt for like the Wicked Saints series since I was able to read an arc of Ruthless Gods a couple weeks ago and I loved that. I don't think anything could top the Caraval series. I had read the Caraval series this year. I read Legendary and Fina Oh, I read the entire series, but I specifically loved the second two books, which is funny because most people feel the opposite way than I do. I mean, I loved the first book too, but I loved Legendary and Finale. And with those, like, like being at the place they're at, like Crooked Kingdom, Legendary Finale, and oh, also the Night Circus. I love the Night Circus. So those, and I loved The Beautiful by Renee Adier, and I loved Ruthless Gods, the sequel to Wicked Saints. I just genuinely don't think the books that I'm reading could top it. I feel like I will love, hopefully, Winter Spell, and everyone loves The Afterlife of Folly Chase, but everyone says it's like a cheesy Christmas you read. I feel like I love those. Maybe I'll even love Angel Mage, but I just don't think anything could be as good as some of the other books I've read this year as far as like topping the way I feel for those. So I'm gonna say Nar. Oh my gosh, and I forgot uh, The Queen of Nothing. Adored The Queen of Nothing. I loved The Queen of Nothing. I thought it was the perfect ending to the Cruel Prince series, and I actually love Wicked King too. I think I like, I reread all the series last month, and I think I loved Wicked King more than the Cruel Prince the second time that I was rereading them. And then I re I read Queen of Nothing the day it came out, and I loved it so much. A five out of five stars. Sorry, good. And then the last question is, have you already started making reading plans for 2020? And I'm gonna say yes, but it's very, very loose plans. So obviously I'm gonna keep rereading the Harry Potter series. Hopefully by summer of next year, I'm done with that. I'm taking them so slow, but like, it's just the way it's gotta be when I have so many other books I'm trying to read as well. And um, also A Heart So Fierce and Broken comes out in, tw in January, 2020. And I loved A Curse So Dark and Lonely. It was one of my favorite reads of this last year. So I'm definitely excited for that book and I'm going to do a reread of the audiobook of A Curse of Dark and Lonely per to prepare for A Heart So Fierce and Broken, Broken. And also I've been really, really, really meaning to read the Strange the Dreamer series as well as the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, both of those series by Lainey Taylor. I feel like I will love them. Um, I love fantasy, high fantasy. It's definitely my favorite genre and it's like the only thing I care to read. So I definitely think I'm gonna love them. And obviously there's so many releases that came out this year that I didn't get around to. And there's gonna be so many great releases next year as well. So I'm just gonna try and read the same amount of books. I read s probably by the end of this year, I'll have read like 61 or 62 books. And I just hope I can replicate that next year or even, you know, double, not double that number, but like read even more so that 
I can get all the reading done. <laughs> By the way, I have a cold, a pretty bad cold. So if you can hear it in my voice, I apologize. Okay guys, well, I mean, that's all. I don't really have anything else to say. If you guys like this video, then just give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have not subscribed already and you wanna join the family, then just make sure to do that. And that is going to be it for today's tag. Uh, I'm not gonna tag anyone. If you wanna do it, you should do it. But also it's the end of the year, so it's a little late. I'm sorry that I'm so late to this bandwagon. But I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whenever it happens to be that you're watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.